Look at this. We've got blue skies. I haven't seen that in a couple days. Oh, that sun feels good right now, man. You guys will be keeping an eye on the weather. There was a giant storm that just rolled literally straight through us. For those of you who don't know, we're up here in North Florida. I live in a little tin can, a freaking RV. That thing was rocking around. We had a ton of wind, a ton of rain. But now we are out here at this place I've never been to before. I don't know how the fishing is around here, but we are going to launch the kayak. We're going to head out here. We're going to see what the heck we can freaking do, man. I've been cooped up inside way too long. Too many days. Literally straight rain and wind. Ooh. I, I have a couple goals in mind, but first I'm going to do something real quick. We're going to try some out here. All right, cast net first day is in full effect here. We literally came out, I was gonna just throw artificial, and then I was looking around this dock, I started seeing some stuff swimming around, some mullet. One, two, three, four, five. We've got a bunch in there, dude. There's like holes in this dock, so it's like, oh no. No. We are out here, man. Let me just tell you though, it is a freaking hot day, dude. Oh my gosh, I don't know how. We might have to jump in the water here in a little bit, man. It is really, 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 really hot. So let me show you what we have on here today real quick. Today we are going with this little dude right here, the popping cork. There's a bunch of bait around. We caught some bait and we have, I think it's a little one-aught circle hook. Oh yeah, we gotta keep these things alive, man. This could be the ticket right through the mouth right there. So here's the rig. We have mullet on the little hook that goes up to a leader, which goes to the popping cork. And as you guys can see, the popping cork has a little weight down there. So it keeps it like that. And then has little pops, little, little clacks in it. This is looking good, man. We got a lot of water moving. It has been a long time since we've done some fishing like this. You guys remember back in the winter? This was like my thing, man. Once I discovered the popping cork, we were going into some creeks. Not really near this one, honestly. I should probably hit those back up in the summer and see what's going on. We hit these winter creeks with the popping cork, with mud minnows. I've never tried it with mullet, dude. Honestly, mullet, especially this time of year, is probably a better, it might be honestly a better bait than mud minnows. I don't really know. I know they're definitely feeding on them here. They're swimming everywhere. But dude, we were catching some big red fish. Basically, you're just waiting for that cork to shoot on down. A little bit of wind feels pretty good. Oh, dude, there's bait jumping everywhere. So yeah, man, we're gonna cast this around, see what we can do. This looks interesting right here and try not to croak with this heat. Dude, it is so freaking hot, man. All right, well, we just experienced some technical 
difficulties this rod just uh <laughs> tip just snapped I mean, it's fine it should still be fishable today i would think <sighs> all right here we go we got to get in the zone man this little area i like better because there's a lot more moving water i can see tons of schools of bait all swimming along the sides here Hello? Oh. oh. There we go. Dude. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. On the broken rod? Dude, this was on a dead mullet too. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I was just about to say, dude. Uh oh. I was just about to say, I bet you get some more freaking bait. Dude, this is freaking big, whatever this is. Oh gosh. Please stay on the broken rod. What is it? I just want to see it. <clears throat> I see my bait. Hello? There's a float. Oh gosh, this gotta be a big rat, dude. Oh, it's been so long. Wait, what is that? That's not a red. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Are you kidding me? You fought so hard. All right. <laughs> First fish of the day. Dude, I could have sworn. All right, all right, all right. Chill out. All right, well, there we go. First fish of the day. Bleeding a little bit. Beautiful. Little baby Jack. <laughs> what the heck, dude? All right. We're going to take a break here for a second from the mullet. Mainly because I ran out. I had like two more and they croaked in the bucket. And that's actually what we threw under that poppy cork. And the freaking Jack ate the croaked mullet. I swear. I don't know if it's the current plus those dudes. I mean, I already know those dudes fight hard, but that felt giant that's pretty cool though Got a nice little jack i feel like i usually don't get those when i'm doing this kind of creek fishing here we go we're gonna switch it up a little bit there's so much like bait maybe we could differentiate ourselves and look i don't know a little bit different maybe a little bit more hello Ugh, maybe a little bit more tasty we'll put the bucket in the back i might end up going to get the cast net and dude i've been seeing so much bait just swimming around here we might honestly try to cast net off the kayak there's so much going on, man. Like, this is good. I feel like we're in a good area. Obviously, there's bait. Obviously, there's some kind of fish, at least. I'm not even joking, man. So much. Dude, there's mullet. Literally, I could see schools of them just flying up the sides of these creeks. We'll, we'll throw around with this a little bit more. I definitely want to try to cast in some off the kayak. Because if there's, like, look at this. Can you guys see this? Right in front of me, the, the ripples on top of the water there. We're going to run up on them. This is a giant school. Y'all see them right there? Look at them, look at them. All up right, you see that? Dude, there's so much bait. There's a fish. There's a fish. What is this? Is another one of those? This feels a little different. What is that? What the heck? I've never caught one of these from the freaking creeks on the artificial either. We got ourselves a little catfish. Right, chill, 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 chill. I got it, man. Interesting. Sometimes we catch these dudes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Sometimes we catch them from the uh, surf. Never caught one on a first of all artificial. Second of all. From one of these creeks. This is interesting. It's 
kind of cool, man. A little smorgasbord action. Two fish that I honestly don't really ever catch. At least in this part of Florida. At least when do it this. A little creek mouth like this. See a big old flatty hiding. Nice little ambush spot, bait coming in and out. Hey man, I mean so far we're not doing too bad. Oh, what is that? I saw a nice wake of something right in the middle here. Huh. I mean, basically the main objective today was to just, oh, geez, there we go. To not cast it into the reeds. No, but we're just exploring a new area. Oh, then my gosh, dude, there's so much bait right here. Look at this. Can you guys see that? It's a nice little bend around this corner. It's kind of coming this way, the tide. So it's kind of like a little eddy right here. It's an interesting little spot. It's pretty darn cool, man. I'm not exactly sure if it's normally like this or if this is a product of the storm or if this is like the beginning of the mullet run here i don't really know Oh. oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> That'll wake you up. Oh man, I couldn't tell you what that was. I, I think it was a redfish. Holy crap, dude. I should just reel that in slower. Or maybe the fast I had him triggered and go. I don't know, dude. Oh man. I got my heart racing a little bit. Let's see if there's any more. Maybe he'll come back for it. Or maybe he saw my giant orange flotation oh device. Oh gosh, dude. Like literally right here. There we go. That'll be good for a little bit and we'll bring it on the kayak. Should have done that in the first place. Hey man, you can't lie, that wasn't bad for the first throw. Sometimes I joke about, oh, first throw. But that was actually the first throw. All right. Into the bucket. Give me that. Give me that. Let's freaking go, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Who needs to pay for bait? Perfect eating size, too, for fish. All right. We got to make sure this water stays cool, though. All right, that's probably good for now. All of you guys. Be free for now. <sighs> oh, did I bet you? It's freaking hot today. All right, we're loaded back up with the bait. Hey, how's it going? Good. Are you trying to get bait or are you trying to get some Uh, yeah, I caught some mullet in my old bucket here. <laughs> what, are, what have you got? 
Uh, mullet? A mullet, okay. Yeah, a little finger mullet. Yeah. Just cast that as some. Is this a kayak? Yep. Well, I'll let you get there. Hey, thanks. Oh. Well, if nothing else, we're getting bait. That was a nice lady. But yeah, man, something satisfying about catching your own bait because you guys know I spend way too much money sometimes going to the bait shop. We just got to find the fish, man. I think as this tide continues to go out, it might be a little bit better fishing in some spots. We're just going to have to kind of bop around a little bit. I just, <laughs> I just got to take a day, man, and like make sure I have the gear that I need. I have another rod that I could bring out. This rod's pretty much toast, man. Freaking missing a freaking eyelet now up there. We need to get one of our, um, you know those yellow buckets? I think they're called like flow troll, where we can just like have it in the water so the bait can be, you know, we need to bring that instead of this bucket. I mean, y'all know, man, fishing is expensive. There's a lot of gear that is involved but you don't want to waste time when you come out here you know you don't want to lose fish you, you want to make sure you're well supplied so we got to take a day and do that i know some of y'all probably roasted me in the comments like why you only bring one rod why are you bringing this i don't know that's all me man i gotta be more prepared all right come here so these these are lively it's gonna be good there we go hooking them through the mouth back to the popping cork it's honestly such a fun way to fish man just earlier when we saw that thing go down, it might have been just a little jack, but it's just so fun to watch that thing go floop. Even when you're ultra late fishing, man, you just got a worm, throw out a little bobber. It's just fun to watch it go down, you know? This is like that on the juice, man. I mean, you never know when it goes down. We've caught some freaking giants out of creeks like this, man just doing this stuff too like you never know it goes down just... all right we're gonna swim our mullet up this creek the tide is kind of coming this way so we're gonna try to find any spots kind of like what we were doing there's like little eddy you know cut creek mouth any reason for fish to be hiding out If you guys have not uh, seen the last video that was uploaded on the channel, man, that was honestly a big mullet jumped over there. One of my favorite videos I've ever made and uploaded on this channel. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you go over there, check it out. This is just a really fun video, man. We caught and cooked only what I ate for 24 hours and we did some pretty cool stuff, man. We went scalloping, got some cool GoPro footage, getting into the water, swimming around, finding the scallops and having a restaurant cook them. Then we cooked them and then I went flounder fishing and we did a lot. A lot of catch and cook stuff in that one. So make sure if you guys haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend checking it out. This is an interesting looking area right here, man. With all the casts we've thrown so far though, I'm kind of surprised. I think, well, I think it was a redfish that chased us, but so far no reds flounder or trout which is the three species that i was like kind of anticipating possibly being back here dude freaking splashes like crazy Oh my gosh. Freaking Jurassic Park bird over here.
Oh my god. There we go. Blew up on it. What is that? Oh yeah, what is that? It's not a bad fish. <clears throat> Digging. Oh man, what is that? Oh. Oh, spit the hook. Dang it. That could have been a jack, but I think that was a redfish, dude. Pretty sure that was, it wasn't a big one. Definitely wasn't a keeper. That's what you just hate when that happens, man. You just want to see what you got, you know? I'm fine with a quick release as long as I see it. I blame the rod, dude. There we go. There we go. Nice little different area over here. Come on, we're not going to lose this. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. There we go. What is that? <clears throat> what the heck? What if that's what we had earlier, dude? See, I wonder if this is from the rain. Another freaking catfish man making some weird noises these dudes have like all types of bars and slime and everything we're just gonna all right so one on the artificial one on mullet there we go interesting hey man i'm trying out here we've been out here for hours and hours oh man it's just so hot went through three waters Still thirsty. Figured to come back up here, dude. Look how much higher this is. Water's so low now. Let's just see if we can catch anything over here. Get us some more bait real quick. It's doable in the kayak. It's just kind of tough. Oh man. See some schools. Come on, come close. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, a little behind them. Did I get any? Oh, I got, I think I got some. <clears throat> Three, that'll do. Tell you, man, next time we're gonna come prepared. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Really nice mullet. Then I'll take this dude. I had three and then I accidentally freaking stepped on one. Professional bait gatherer. Alright, you guys can go. Get, get, get. Get back. Get, 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 get. Alright, everybody out. Here we go, man. This is going to be it. One last dish attempt. We are in like an excessive heat warning. Oh gosh, dude, all right, let's try this big. Dude, that's a nice mullet right By the there. way, I'm not trying to like complain. There's honestly not much other things in life I'd rather be doing right now. Just trying to give you all the full experience. What's going on here? A toasty post-storm day in August. Mullet fired up everywhere. Catfish apparently freaking feasting. Dude, freaking flying mullet, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh oh. Dude, on the big mullet, too. We gotta keep this thing out of the oysters. Oh, my gosh. 
That's gotta be a red. Oh, oh. Come on, Rod, you could do it. No, 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 no. Come on, Rod, you could do this. Oh my God. Okay, tighten this up just a little bit. I gotta make sure I'm coming. Okay, there we go, we're filming. Oh yeah, yeah. Come here, please. Oh yeah. Dude, best fish I've caught in a while. Almost have caught. Oh, I jinxed it. Frick, man. What is even today? Oh gosh, dude. That was a red. Probably was a pretty decent big one. That's probably so cringe to watch that, dude. That is uh, not the best way to end a fishing session. We were out there for so long, dude. I'm telling you, it was so hot. I was trying so hard. We actually caught, you know, some fish, but we lost some fish. And I know like some people would probably cut that out of the video, man, but I'm just a dude. I wanna show y'all like the whole fishing experience. And sometimes that just happens, man. Sometimes you lose fish. Sometimes you don't catch the most fish. That's just the way it is, man. Just being out here though. That's what it's all about, man. Even on them toasty days. But right now I'm actually in the state of Delaware. We've been going back and forth a lot this year, but we're gonna have some videos from here. I had some obligations back here, a lot going on this year. I just wanna thank you guys for watching this video, man. Definitely not the craziest day of fishing, but dude, every time you go out there, every you know, it's not always gonna be the craziest day. Again, if you guys haven't seen the last video, I would definitely recommend checking that out. That is one of my favorite videos that I ever uploaded on the channel. And it's actually the longest video so if you guys haven't checked that out maybe you guys got some time head over check that one out all i gotta say man thank you guys so much for all the freaking support let's keep this thing rolling thank y'all for watching you see you next video.